You guys ever noticed that the torch bearer doesn't have any clothes on? Yeah. I never noticed that, but I understand why. So every other October, Alabama fans can come up here and kiss our hands. Knoxville at the University of Tennessee. Currently, we're tearing down bridges. Come August 31st, we're going to start tearing down the Southeastern Conference. It's football today here in Knoxville. I don't care if it is just a spring practice. It's free football. It's Knoxville. It's the orange and white. If you're a Vol fan, you should be here. So we're standing here today in front of Neyland Stadium, the most legendary building on planet Earth. And I have a commenting legend with me this morning. Now you know him as 92, Ride the Lightning 92. I know him as one of the top two or three commenters on YouTube. He's badass, he says his mind, and he's here. So what's gonna happen today? No, I predict the Tennessee victory. That's just my opinion. I don't know what all the analysts are saying and everything, you know, Lee Corso and all the. Okay, we've also got Mr. Power T here. He doesn't comment much. A couple of uh, large orange fans here who have both predicted a Tennessee win today. The season. What's it going to be? Give us a record. 9 3, maybe win the East. Go Lance wise. We have an ACP Carter sighting, finally. What's up, brother man? Good to meet you Good finally. Meet you. Well, as you can see, our YouTube torch bear gathering has grown this year. It's gotten so big that we had to hire a guided tour. And uh, this guy here is giving everyone the guided tour. So he's doing a fine job. And of course, all of these people here are a part of the blue tick bullies. And I told you, this thing grows every year. And here you go right here in front of the torch bearer. So Bill, what do you think about our crowd for the YouTube oh, gathering this year? We got a new, but, but, uh, this is our Blue Tick Bully introduction program. Yeah. And over here you got Bill for all DVD and ACB Carter. Okay, so Bill's not making predictions on the season this year. How nope. about predictions for the orange and white game? White? Oh, no, I'm gonna go with orange by two. You know, I'm still going to go orange by two. White by six. Prediction on the game today? Orange or white? The outcome will save Dooley's job until August. <laughs> Mike. Yeah, I, I know nothing about Tennessee football, man. I'm a high State fan. <laughs> <laughs> My prediction is this year, Bill will not freeze to death. The attendance today appears to be much better than it's been. Pretty good crowd. I'm going with 50. I don't give a shit what the so-called professional counters say. Keith's going with 35. It's probably if you squeezed everybody in here like they normally are. That's probably about right. If Georgia can claim 40 at theirs, we can claim 50 at ours, by God. End of the third with a 14-all score. Any dramatic fourth quarter predictions, boys and girls? Tennessee's going to win. Well, that's your ball game. Tyler Bray will be eating hot dogs. South and Sherry and company will be eating tonight and that's a wrap on the 2012 orange and white game 17-14 orange Ty, everybody gets steak and hot dogs yeah i got a prediction for you my prediction is we're still gonna be better than georgia but haven't you heard georgia's gonna win the national championship this year yeah i've heard a lot of things and you know like snowballs chances in hell 
more believable than Georgia winning a national championship. Pot brownies are more believable too. Yeah, I just gotta know, was the internet even around? Did they even have indoor plumbing when Georgia won a national championship? Yeah, they still don't in some places in Georgia. Did they even have phones when Georgia won a national championship? I'm pretty sure they had those uh, two-piece phones like Andy Griffith uses. Yeah, I think that that's right. I know one thing about Georgia, that's they're not Tennessee. But they wish they were. They could say what they want about now and today, but they would trade their past. Right? If, they, if they could switch step for step what's happened in our histories, they would trade it. They would trade it in a heartbeat. I don't think we'll see Tyler Later. Later. Be careful going back. All right. Go Vols. Bill. All right, brother. Always a Hey, 92, good meeting you, man. Nice to meet you, too, buddy. See you later, guys. Later. Be careful. Here we are at the uh, post orange and white round table. <laughs> this is a yes or no question. This is not what you want to happen. This is what you think is going to happen. The beginning of the 2013 season, will Derek Dooley be our head coach? Go. Yes. 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 No. I'm going to say yes. Keep in mind, folks, I said that's not what we want. That's what we think. And I'm not saying I don't want him to be here next year. I do. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. Fuck, I don't know what I want. That's what you want. You hope they do good enough. No, what I want is 14-0 and national championship five years in a row. What I think is going to happen is I think he will do enough. I really, I really do think to he's going to To keep his job. Yep. Next round table question. At the beginning of the 2013 season, will all of our coaches be back, whether Derek Dooley's here or not? Nope. No, because one of them will be the head coach at Georgia. Will be fired. I think everybody will be back next year only because Dooley will be back. I ain't saying I could see this happening, but what I would like to see happen is right now I trade you Urban Meyer for uh, Derek Dooley in a heartbeat. Yes, he, <laughs> he's you. an Ohio State fan who, who despises Urban Meyer. <laughs> oh, yeah, he knows what he he's just going to fuck us. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather just be screwed right now during our yeah, downtime no, because more we're, already we already are, yeah. we're already because screwed. We're already screwed, so why not give us a crappy coach? That way we don't have like 12 years of getting screwed. That way we're not because Michigan again. Here's the yeah, truth. I, I here's don't the truth. He's got, I kind of agree with him. It always sounds weird, but if you look at Urban Meyer, what he did at Florida, he did it with Ron Zook's guys. And the last two years of his, that was his team. And that's the two worst years he's had at Florida. Exactly. So you, you think, do you think that Meyer is going to get you guys in trouble or are you just going to suck? Uh, both. Like both. Like once uh, Trussell's recruiting class and everything is – is out the door and Urban Meyer's little regime comes in. He's it's gonna suck ass just like it sucks ass in Florida because now that's you know, his recruiting class. And then what's gonna happen is the same bullshit that happened in Florida is gonna happen at Ohio State. Because remember when they get in trouble in Ohio State, though Meyer won't punish him. So. Yeah, I know. That that's great. Well, that's the problem with Trussell. Instead of telling on him, he was like, uh, just don't say anything, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow you could hire any fucking coach on the planet. To be the coach here. Murray or John Gruden. Bring back Trussell. Really? Yep. Uh, Saban. Bill Belichick. Lane Kiffin. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> honestly, win and looking at it from a, from a just strictly what he could do, wins and losses, Pete Carroll. Strictly wins and losses, but I can't stand him. He's a douchebag. So give me yeah. Philip Fulmer back. Yeah. yeah. That's you know, bullshit, too. Belichick, Manning, Peyton, if he would come. and That's what you want? You want the fans to come out? You don't, I mean, that's no, what, you want wins to get the fans yeah, to come out, not, I mean, good, not head coaches with Manning as their last name. Well, the number one dream scenario would be Ray Goff back at Georgia. They, Derek Dooley's our coach, and we got to support him right now. Look, we love you, Derek. You're a lawyer. You know, we could use you in the courthouse, but we want you in the big house. Not that shithole up in Michigan they call the big house, but this fine, beautiful sanctuary behind me. Get us 10 wins this year, everybody will be happy. 
get us a national championship next year, and they'll be lining up to blow you. Go Vols. Anybody have any last nope. spring game remarks? Go Vols, we're still better than Georgia. <laughs> I'll be Vols. back for a regular Vols season beach, game. We're better than everybody. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to try my last one. I have to agree with Rondo. We're better than everybody. Found it, Rondo. Everybody. No comment. That's the safest thing. I'm trying to think of what's better than everybody. God's team. My quote. <laughs> I always say on that, my videos. That, that might get us in trouble down the road, though. <laughs> I always say I always say on my videos, I'm say we're God's team. <laughs> <laughs> That's why God made the sunset orange, baby. Yeah. Uh, go balls.